I am Farina, I am a department manager at a subsidiary of the Stadtwerk Lübeck and I am bei einer Tochter der Stadtwerke Lübeck. I am the head of a department that deals with school IT, with school it's okay. With school IT, okay. How did you get there? How did that become that become your professional focus? Well, I always wanted to do something with that is, that's what attracted me to it. Attracted to the public sector to make things better things better and that's something technical. That was pure coincidence because I was a, I was a specialist in the third middle area so I could acquisition of funding very well for municipalities at an economic development agency and I then then got the offer for a university for a university to acquire third party funding for learning and I accepted it. And that's how we know each other. We also know each other. Um, do a little bit of your backup. And what did you learn to get there? Ja, ich habe eine duale Ausbildung gemacht bei einem großen Yes, I did a dual education was at the big touristic travel company and I didn't know exactly what I was doing for a while. Tried out a few things and then went into business studies again. Again, studied at a University of Applied Sciences in business studies and then started directly with this business development, i.e. in the municipal. And yes, that is actually the preliminary. Okay, and then you're on to the third one. So I am, I was in the Department of Tourism and for Tourism and Business Development, that is. It was not only about funding ideas, Ideas, but business development projects in tourism. Or with startups and founders, I have developed concepts with the people therein. The municipalities, and in the course of this, we also, of course, we also needed financial resources to implement the development projects, and there was, and there was also a strand of qualification projects for the people on the islands and halogen in order to tourism in a sustainable way, yes. And in the course of that I had to do with qualification, but not with digital-based teaching and learning. Digitally supported learning that only came when I started my job at the TH Lübeck. As a project developer, they needed someone who could raise third-party funds on a much larger scale and in the concepts that are conducive. I had to familiarize myself with them, so that was actually except the qualification part was the technical part was still totally new and new and fresh for me and then I got used to it. At that time they still had a relatively large team in terms of e-learning as a mass production and I had a lot of people with whom I could talk to onto those topics so that I could learn very technical functions. The media educational part was always a bit in the background. The approach was driven very much from the production organization. We have always tried to make an effort once and then play it out at many universities so that it would be economically viable and sustainable and then with these mechanisms I had to get to grips with these mechanisms quite quickly and intensively. That means that e-learning is actually an entry point into this whole STEM sector. In the broadest sense or what fascinated you about the fact that you stuck with it? Oder was fandst du faszinierend daran, dass du da dran geblieben bist? Yes, first of all it was completely new topics for me and that's what triggered me to get involved. I had to familiarize myself with some curiosity to get to know this system. Technical things that take place there with the people who fill it with life were many. Computer scientists, computer programmers, programmers where one has to say, the organization was very male. Characterized in the technical functions at that time yes, and then I was exciting to see how one could. Do more in a university than just research more than research, which was more like development. Whole engine room that made things work and that was so new and exciting for me that. Since 16 years have gone by and I have become familiar with these technology-driven topics. And that ended up a little bit in school it. And then in the school IT. 
Yes, I had a little stopover at an institution under of six federal states. Data port, that's actually where I first into the show ID, and that is where the so-called school portals, which are basically, basically mostly virtual workplaces for teachers, maybe also for pupils' pupils, so all these email offices. Email office anwendung. application that you know from the Microsoft universe that is often used at country level with open source technologies so that there is also there is a lot of development effort and there had. First time I had contact with technologies for for schools and not only for universities and so. Not only the area of teaching and learning was technically covered, but also the area of a virtual workplaces, you can say everything which extends into administrative digitalization. I got to know there and was then and then I was asked if I could work here. In Lübeck at the subsidiary of the public utility company and first of all I got to know the also thought that is a similar amount of software so that is application management development of applications so that teachers pupils students can work on a technical basis but there. I was surprised to find that I had my own fully fledged center then surprised me so that. The software then into this infrastructure area, you can really say that with it. I had to do a data port partly because there is also a data center, which is operated, which is bought in when you implement certain solutions for ministries but that I am now also responsible for the whole administration, so to speak, from the sheet metal. Upwards that was a little surprise, but that was a continuation of my journey. To learn new things and a totally exciting experience that people also trust me. And that means how can I now imagine that you with the spanner, you are standing there at the server bursting in about say let's say units like that need to be. Good leaders who also understand modern leadership because that is a really very thick board you have to recruit and retain develop and retain staff, that's not. And so the people I work with, I work with, are actually sitting at the workbench and on these cables on the racks and patching what I do, which is my job. Basically orchestrate the team which consists of technical people and project people to orchestrate and to see that I make it clear to the management what our actual needs are. It is the case that the municipal utilities are also itself through the appointment of a digital business field now so school is not the only thing we make out of smart city solution that is very new as incubator all started but that also means that you just with such a stat work group and so you have to have a municipal utility group and what we have and what we are doing in a very new way I have to negotiate with the business seen because I need staff I suddenly have completely different clients with whom I'm talking about they used to have individual customers for energy or companies they sell energy to, for example, and now we have to make a complete for the Hanseatic city of Lübeck, school ID for the Hanseatic city of Lübeck and you need more agile approaches in order to move forward quickly. People we have acquired who expect are of course also mainly men. But the fact is that we want them to work very flexibly that they want to work in a very self-determined way. And that in the summer is still in contradiction contradictory to the way in which a public service company operates an old grown large public company like the municipal utilities and between these worlds I'm basically mediating all the time and then mediate between these worlds all the time and then there is the customer, the city of Lübeck, who also has a certain idea why she has outsourced them. She just did not give it to the city because they had already seen that otherwise.
might not work so well if you have to rebuild it they already have correctly and have then with the municipal utility with the municipal utility a good sparring partner to outsource something like that and build up new ones which means that I have with the Hanseatic city of Lübeck processes that I have to orchestrate that I have to orchestrate that is to say it is actually a leadership role in an it context that I take on and of course I go I also go to the schools. I have just had a walkthrough. I just had a walkthrough. It's really a tangle of cables. And we have now set out to standardize the, to standardize the thing, to centralize it. And make it more professional. That is so these three components. And yes, I am sorting. Keep the staff happy. Get the capacity capacities explained to the management why. We need new jobs why we do things this way and not like this also take over a part even. Public relations via social media to show show how much good we do for the Hanseatic city and for the public sector that all comes under under services of general interest and this is also the reason why it fits quite well with the public utilities for example. I have a lot of explanation with. I was supposed to come to the Works Council the other day, come to the Works Council the other day and explain why we are suddenly doing another business area with school when the energy market is already difficult and the grids are difficult. Why are we now doing something like this? Is it just a gimmick, but an incubator, so the digital digital subsidiary, what is it actually doing? And I have noticed that there is a lot of a lot of kinship to this one within this general interest topics, we have to make the whole school as sovereign as possible so that we are not exclusively, we need to make it sustainable. We must have our own strategy how we actually want to shape education and these are issues that a public utility can deal with quite well. They are already something of a challenge. Closer to the market than a municipal authority or something like that. And yes, so even within the group I have. Then so the task to bring in the new one to explain and to acquire for it so extremely. Mm -hmm. Complex, but always with the core of it to for people who don't know anything about IT. But also equally from the management into the teams, because I really aber auch gleichermaßen von der Geschäftsleitung in die Teams rein. Denn ich habe ja wirklich Hardcore Techies on board, and for them it is also to understand why a company has certain processes and there I am again a translator, again translator of these between these both worlds and that actually shows that it does not necessarily have to do with the fact that that you have studied computer science and the technology in detail and implement it yourself and make it. There are so many ways to make yourself useful in this, to make yourself useful in this industry. Not have a technical education, of course the interest for this culture is like such. Technical people work is important and I always have a picture in my mind of how such people work. Technical architectures look like, but that is more of a systemic, systemic approach when you look at human systems, I think you can understand, understand technical systems quite easily. That there I have someone systemic view on and so I also understand how these systems work. Und äh, so, so verstehe ich auch, wie diese technischen Technical Components have to interlock what you need to do if something like that becomes too complex. Then you always have a bit of course of free benefit consideration still there. You have to keep as head of department must also pay attention to economic efficiency. So these are very complex positions that not necessarily only have to do with soldering or so exactly because that is the infrastructure the on which the whole thing is based and how do you see that with so one is quite a lot going on in the a lot going on at the moment in this whole digital cloud computing AI how do you keep up with all these developments? All these developments, how do you educate yourself? An opinion about where, for example, the school school should be and how much it should be. Accesses these external offerings like I don't want to get into the content but 
Ich will gar nicht inhaltlich drauf einsteigen, sondern like your learning path somehow try to understand how one is learning on the job. Das eine ist learning on the job. And the other are also forward driven topics that also want to be shaped. Vorwärts getriebene Themen, die die auch gestaltet werden wollen. So you can kind of keep yourself up to date, so that's where I keep myself the biggest keyword is Internet, so I am very much on the Internet, I come across articles on social media, and so on, and they enable me to speak this language of technology. And of course, we run into the latest topics, topics like the current debate, about chat GPT, and also I have discussions with the team, we are very strong over messenger mit dem team wir sind sehr stark über messenger that is a constant conversation about the virtual space also with the team and we give each other topics that can be found on the on the internet and from this an exchange develops und daraus entsteht ein austausch and i always notice that even the technical people don't know everything technical people don't know everything and that are moments where i bring in articles that they haven't that they haven't heard about yet and that's Und, äh, das ist Im Basically, the development of a swarm intelligence that I'm networking I also have private ich hab auch private Gruppen, groups with a few people on Signal where I can I can also ask questions that I am comfortable with. Answer quickly and competently there I try to a private network that is as heterogeneous as possible. I know people who also deal hobbyistically with hardware or with hardware or with data protection. And so on it is a constant networking between people who are also interested and Mm -hmm. Of course I've also read, I have to say, books about software development so for example, stronger start that I can also always recommend just to look at the literature. Topics are not technical but come from the management perspective, which you can. I always find with common sense and professional experience you can understand them well. And yes, then there are of course also ja, something like yes formats, bar camps, meetups, sometimes I find. I also go to events that are not so formal, not so formal, where you can meet interesting people. And that brings us to the point of what career opportunities point about what career opportunities you see. For people who have not worked in STEM in the broadest sense of the word. Already explained quite well that this is a very broad field in which one can enter exactly. I believe that there is something for almost everyone. Is also different in every organization. That my experience is that the role that the role's definition is often done by the companies themselves. And this often results in things being all the more important to work with the people who work in such a company. Segment to get into conversation with people who people who have a need to expand IT. And there are more positions than we can fill of course, they are also hard Hardcore technical natürlich sind es auch hardcore technische Themen, subjects that not everyone or anyone can do but in this management environment there is so much 18 minutes and 14.16 seconds 18 minutes and 19.68 seconds master has actually done that to me once too got me a bit away from this profile then that was also an important tactical and strategic goal for me tactical and strategic goal for me and through such a training which is not technical but which is not technical but he has a moderate my profile gained a lot and I could apply for apply for completely different jobs or positions or with other people in the companies and so I always find who is interested in technology Finde ich immer, wer Interesse an Technik hat, has and does not see things so negatively that is important to design an approach like digital technologies in their positive effects and to continue to work on that that's what makes me has always driven me and that is where I find for people who do not come from the same background as me. From the technical corner, there is so much need need for these things, especially in the public sector. And there you can slip in via moderative tasks, for example moderation tasks tasks, for example, then there are you. A lot with technical people, then the thing the jobs that aren't in the 
Die Jobs, die, die sind ja nicht in Cement, Cement but we develop ourselves depending on the constellation in the team. Constellation in the team is, and from this also new professional orientation is correct and you can help to shape them yourself exactly. I have a very strong role development focus. At the moment my organization is out of this startup phase and now has to take notes. I say we are scaling up, we want to offer to offer the service to others and that results in suddenly arise in organizational development quite different needs in terms of roles or more roles of a role and to help shape these things organizational development issues to accompany the is also a very important part and of course and of course only the people who are in it do that because you can't wait on the outside for that your job will be generated at some point but you can only shape it and help to shape it if, if you can somehow participate in it I think but that's not easier anywhere at the moment in IT because it's paid for that's different in the social sector I also have a lot of ideas but in IT they really have a problem And then this is gladly accepted that that you bring new solutions and it is also we often work on a pilot basis, for example do five schools first and wire them up and see how the learning effects are if we need to do something we need to do better and then we go on to. Means that in every small step there are five more where you can somehow yes. What would you do, especially for women, especially women 45 plus are our primary target group? Target group here in our what would you recommend to get involved in this shaping of the future? You have your idea, yes I would. Yes, so I would recommend that you definitely network like I did at the beginning. That has got me the furthest, has got me the furthest, it's also important, the furthest it is also important from this planning and analysis phase for myself, I have also noticed that that women then think they need further training, preferably paid things so unorganized formats for, for themselves with a certain curiosity. It's not an issue at all that you can get, I think it is also important to that you are not trained for this thing. For this kind of thing I have also spent many years. In a man's world many sayings have to be reaped, I have to deal with yours only once you realize how much deep you are in now I think some from from the past are wondering how far everything is served there you have to create a thick and see the small successes. And then perhaps also times if the one station you don't like, then change if you fit in the door then suddenly it goes on very well very well that is my experience too. Been after 16 years TH that was very long Lübeck because it was also always quite good, however, there is a lot going on outside and it is with a little bit of courage you can get quite a lot of new things can happen because you meet new people and then you might even get approached because the workforce at the moment from the out of your hands at the moment, so to speak. Yes, and this positive view on technical development I find important especially for these target group that didn't grow up with it perhaps through the children but there felt only annoyance because a lot is consumed and consumed and we did not yet consume so much knowledge of child development and media but, but that's not what this is about. Case you have to put that down yourself and for yourself and find an emancipated way of dealing with these things. Don't look at things so negatively I have often had the experience that discussions come up in my target group about how terrible all this is and where it will lead to. And it is too complicated and we don't understand it anymore and then you start to talk things down and it's nice to start nice to start trying out tools, too, there are on the internet that you can use with social media with social media tools starting with that is also part of it so the little things and use them yourself and yes I think there are always technical issues that play a role in everyone's life play about the fact that one already uses and how that is positively easy to use 
could also be used professionally and I and I think it is also important to look at facts and science I also want to mention that I have learned a lot about systems theory, leadership, management I have also looked at things from the states like teams especially teams in the technical field which are always very far ahead of the pack also empirically this agile comes yes everything from software development for example transferred to other areas you can look at empirical findings and the try to implement them or to take that's what I got out of it I was able to take many shortcuts because I proceeded with a model-based approach, I have. I have thought about or looked at what scientific scientific findings and how they can be. Perhaps this can be used in practice can also be fragments that you don't only have to deal with. Rules of thumb that is of course also important important to move forward with trial and error. Test to pilot again, discard, start again, but also a broad fact base a bit. Read about it in the scientific publications, which one also meets a lot via links in there one has to. Not have to search in the libraries, but many people post something like this and refer to it to practice. I actually also find very helpful. I have another question I don't know. Maybe I will cut out at the end because she's also a bit bitey in these. In diesen IT it contexts is my experience um, and also been on the road for almost 30 years and in my opinion, it is not that everybody there necessarily learn with us, but we also have many understandings. It understandings of the 90s years still prevail and also in the IT world, especially in the specific it men world that has built up over the decades. There is a certain unwillingness to learn about new developments, new developments, that is how I would put it now. I could imagine that it is difficult, difficult when you come in from the side so that a because your know-how has grown with you over the years, grown over the years in that you are just reading, participated in the developments as is, so your experience treasure your assessment. Schatz, deine Einschätzung. Yes, I have to say I have been a lot in these progressive, progressive environments and therefore I have also got further there is of course really the first. The first, the first important that you have to deal with progressive. Travel, you can often find them on the net, you can often find them on the net. The communities, I now also have the great luck that the headmasters who are very attracts many men who are looking for a, who are looking for a sense of purpose for their job. Already open and partly it is already generation younger than me, I am 50 years old. Some of them are in their thirties and there I notice that I notice that a change is taking place, that is. Look for groups that are heterogeneous, I think you can be choosy about who you take. You on that of course there are still cultural differences, but heterogeneous. Groups give you a greater chance of gaining a foothold and well in the management you employ a lot of. You always deal with this subject of what is so why are things here are plentiful that have grown historically. Why are there many male leaders who have a certain style and so on. But I have always tried to break that up when I was in the next higher position. I tried to set a different example and then do things differently. And of course you have to give yourself time, but there was the principle if it if it heterogeneous groups you should go to them first I think for some people you can the mood remains the same so on the other hand I am not sure if who are really going to keep up with the latest technologies whether people who are so much interested in them are really on the internet community I had a lot of experience with that interviews where they told me they only they only read the CT that's enough 
Of course not today, that's the old I am then I am probably yes, that would be my tip too. Ja, das, das wäre mein, mein Tipp an the place and slowly the plague drop envelops the stone no fear of these structures too. You hold up mirrors and I have to take a lot of a lot in the beginning, but I have. Practice that I first collect a little bit and a little bit and at some point I'll come up with really good things and I try to have the staying power that I try to have and then sometimes they are quite amazed how much in the technical subjects and the although I am even a career changer that one usually have more experience than one and just live that out and also sometimes say no say no but in some cases you first have to have a a little bit but then you get into it develop a relationship and then you you realize that there is something there and you should of course not wait too long any only fear you don't need to be afraid of that either so you should have a sparring partner you should have a sparring partner in the team that can then further fertilize each other any from therefore yes I, I would say that we have been doing this for a long time now here at the point thank you Karina for your learning journey up to here and very much